but she did it. She figured it out. She was smart. She was strong. She was she was prepared. We said that at the beginning, and it was absolutely true. She 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 was prepared for this. She's prepared for it a whole life in terms of mental strength and spiritual strength, physical strength. She uh, she did it. She, she smart. You do what you got to do. You figure it out. That's exactly what she did. But how far away from the search area? Where was she? Was it was outside. It was beyond the, the search area where, where we've been focusing it. It was a far extreme. Our immediate search area was about a two mile radius, within a two mile radius. We've been extending that out into the more strategic areas that, that she could possibly be. Uh, we were getting guidance from uh, uh, West Coast uh, search and rescue consultants that pointed us to certain areas that were going to be more likely for surviving uh, this period of time, and they were absolutely right. Uh, Low-lying areas, drainage areas, um, and that's exactly where they found her. It was in a, a deep ravine, um, you know, basically unable to get out, as I understand it. Matter of fact, the, the rescuers on the helicopter uh, had to be uh, air, they had to be airlifted out to, as well um, because it was so uh, so steep and, and arduous. Um, yeah. So was uh, did she have broken bones or anything? Not, no, no broken bones, uh, abrasions, uh, uh, sun exposure, and such. As best I can tell, um, I'm not aware of any any other damages. Very alert, very aware. Uh, mentally, 100%, I would say, which is just incredible. Uh, she was mobile the first, you know, for the first five or six, eight days. Um, I think she took a, a good fall. Um, she, 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 you know, did something to her ankles or knees that, that impeded her. Uh, I believe she kept moving at that point, you know, migrating downhill, which is what they what they say you typically do in these scenarios. Um, and she was, uh, you know, just at very far away. She was trying to find a way back and it just got lost in the in the terrain. Every day we set up base camp at uh, the Maui Forest Reserve uh, upper lot. Um, the uh, DLNR uh, supported us with uh, uh, yurts and, and various other uh, accommodations um, and uh, we ran base operations from there. Uh, Every day volunteers would show up um, you know, we've had, we've had days where 150 people would show up. We've had days where, you know, during the during the week, the work week even, where we get 50, 60, 80 people out there um, after work as they could, and uh, um, just going out, running different search patterns, running grids. Everybody had GPS. Everybody was being uh, tracked. Their downloads. We mapped it. Very methodical. Very uh, for a, a civilian-led, you know, community-led effort. It was. It was uh, fairly sophisticated.